here. So we are going to unbox this lovely collector's edition of Stranger Things. So let's take a look inside. If we can actually get it open. <laughs> Two thousand years later. So this is actually a collector's edition of. Stranger Things Monopoly, so there's two different versions. Um, this is like a special edition one. Let's see. Let me open it up. This box is like the upside down version. Inside. So you've got your instructions there. And here we have let's get the board out first. And this is your special edition of the board. That's really cool. So what have we got? We've got Murray's House, Cully Warehouse, Hawkins National Laboratory, Junkyard, the Pool, Mind Flayer, Pay 100, the Fairground. We've got all the locations from Stranger Things in there. Very cool. So Let's have a look at what else we have. We have a really cool looking box, which is in the shape of a cassette player. Ooh. The cards look really tiny to me. I'm sure they never used to be this small. <laughs> but this is all your different um, properties in here. So we've got locations like Bio Shed. We've got the Hawkins Police Department. We've got things like the schoolyard, um, the junkyard, all different types. Transmission, prepare for a wild ride, advance to the fairground. I'm guessing these are like your wild cards. Chill with your new best friend. And maybe enter the void for fun. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, you inspect Will's body at the morgue. It's a fake. He's still alive. Spoiler alert. So we've got loads of fun ones that are all related to the story and the locations in the series. So, got your Monopoly money here. So the money all pretty much looks the same. We've got the Demogorgon in the bottom hand corner. And it's all like the different colours still. 50, 100, and 500. So that's all good. And then we've got all the different die. So we have one. I don't know what the features are of this, but it's kind of in the style of your Dungeon and Dragons um, die. So it's like a triangular one. And then your other two die are kind of like a semi-translucent. And then we've got all your houses, which so you've got the houses which are your grey colour, and then the hotels are transparent. I think from what I can see, yeah, they glow in the dark. This top secret on it. Ah, okay. So these, I don't know what the kind of gameplay is for this, but basically it's got different um, challenges, I guess. So you secretly record someone at Hawkins Lab implicating themselves in the cover up, send one player to jail, take possession of property from another player, um, transport yourself to any space. 
like your wild cards. So they're pretty cool. And what else have we got? Last but not least, we have all the different counters. So, <laughs> see if I can actually get them out. So these are all the different uh, characters that you can play with. So you've got Hopper's Hat, you've got the baby Demogorgon. I can't remember what his name is now. <laughs> um, you've got the radio, you've got the Steve's Ahoy ice cream hat, you've got Ego. You've got the bat that kills the Demogorgon in the first season. You've got the camera. I think that one's a bear trap, I'm not sure. Max's skateboard, cassette tape, and you've got Dungeon and Dragons dice. I think they're all really cool. Okay, so that is the Stranger Things Collector's Edition of Monopoly. I'm really, really pleased with it. I think it's an awesome edition, especially for a new Stranger Things fan. Um, I think it's got enough new features to make it really worth collecting even if you've got lots of other monopoly collector's editions as well i'm really happy with it and i'm really looking forward to playing with it so thanks for watching guys